Hey guys, Brent Hall, happy Wednesday. Got another design video. This house is a French-ish house. And so the challenge here is trying to figure out what the story is, making sure it's authentic, making it work. And again, if you watch my Wednesday videos, you know that I kind of hit on the same things. In this case, I'm simplifying and I, I am pairing back some of the elements. I talked about in one of my videos, the building and designing houses from the outside in versus the inside out. In that, what happens is the new house, you end up looking at it and go, well, I need this room and I need this room and I need this room and I need this. And you end up with a house with all these bumps and bruises all over it. And it's not simplified, it's not clean. And so this house suffers from a little bit of that. There's, there's things happening on one side of the house that's not balanced with the other. And so I've just kind of cleaned it up and simplified it which is a recurring theme. Check it out, let me know what you think. Okay guys, here's the house, right? And, and I think one of the first questions you asked is, well, what is it trying to be? What does it want to be? There's actually some good features and then there's some things that I think that, that miss. I think this is, they're trying to be French, I think. They've messed up some of the details. For instance, this this whole massing here that comes up and, and, and builds up, right? And, and kind of this whole piece, look how large it is. Look how large the, the fireplace is. The, the fireplace is here. I mean, that's a really large fireplace for this facade. And so as, as I try to reconcile and try to, you know, make sense of this, because it's French, right, there are some details that they've got. They've got, it looks like a French casement window, which is a, the French casements oftentimes were tall and they didn't have a dividing bar in the middle. They, they kind of divided this way. So this is actually kind of a nice little French casement. And if this is a French cottage, okay, if they're trying to be French, then they've also got these plank shutters over here, okay? And the plank shutter is basically a shutter that goes up and it's tongue grooved with these boards and then there's a batten that goes across here, right? Now the batten would be what the, where the hinge was done. So they've got a board and batten shutter, which as opposed to a panel shutter looks like, you know, more of a cottage, okay? So good, right? This is good. The balance and symmetry is off, but that's not the end of the world. They've got a double door, which is also kind of Frenchy. They, they've got this piece up here, which there's a lot going on here. This detailing in here is called diapering, okay? And it's a brick pattern detail that is a decorative kind of French Belgian detail where they would diaper the brick. So again, you know, this element is, it, there's elements in there that are French, there's elements there that work. The problem is, is that all of these elements don't really work together. And so, you know, the size of this, so much larger than the size of this, and our front door with the clear you know, path that centers our door, it just feels to me like the proportions and mass are, are wrong. And so this to me is a house built from the inside out. You know, I did a video of you know, designing from the inside out versus the outside in. And this, this is you know, historically the way they would have done, laid out this house was they would have been very symmetrical. It would have been balanced. It would have been beautiful from the front, from the outside, and the inside would have been laid out in a very general pattern. If you look at historic houses, you know, the floor plan of those houses was oftentimes, you know, in, in an early Georgian house, you might have a fireplace in, you know, four rooms in a corner fireplace, but this kind of arrangement in a Georgian room is very typical. Or, you know, if you look at the thing with the center hall, right, where you know the stairs go up, you know there's a formal room here, a formal room here, you know, a kitchen and a back area, right? And so historically houses laid out very organized that way and so you kind of knew what you were getting, but that allowed the outside of the house to make sense. Now, What's happening here is they'd like, well, let's make the, this room a little bit bigger. And then, oh, we just have a little closet over here. And all of a sudden, this house begins to have these, you know, appendages and these parts and pieces that make it unbalanced. So in general, you end up looking at this house going, yeah, I kind of know what it's trying to be, but it 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 doesn't communicate very well. It's, it's kind of mismatched. And so... What I did was I just simplified this house, right? I just took out, you know, that big section here and changed the way this was done here. And I elevated the front door with just kind of a little eyebrow window over top of that. But I've kept these windows, kept those windows, kept this, kept the basic floor plan. But by 
messing with this block and this block are all I really played with so that it just communicated better what it is, right? So now we understand that it's a it's a French cottage, that it's simple. You know, I've changed the path from this straight path to something a little more winding to communicate more cottagey. And so I would have taken the house in this kind of direction as opposed to this direction. You've got plenty of roof up underneath of this roof line so that those rooms could go back into there. There's tons of space up in there. You don't need to kick out the front and it gets cluttered and it, it gets imbalanced and it and it's just confusing because this element right here is so elevated, right, that we lose sight that this is our door and this is our entry. And so reprioritize that, re-giving it a different hierarchy and everything else. And I think it helps. I, I, I soften the size of the fireplace, but you know, in general, didn't really mess with any of the bottom played with the top, just the roof line. And I think, I think it makes more sense and it's a little more handsome from the street. Okay guys, how'd we do? You like simplifying it? Do you think it made it better? There's other things you could have done. You could have made it two story. I was thinking about, we'll just build up that whole wall across there and build out, that was another option, but I felt like it got away from the spirit of the house and maybe would have cost too much money. And so anyway, let me know what you think. I read all the comments. I'm Brent Hull, thanks for watching.